Find the cosecant of 13 pi over 4. Remember, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So the cosecant of 13 pi over 4 is the same as 1 over the sine of 13 pi over 4. So we can find the sine of 13 pi over 4, and then we can find the reciprocal of that to get the cosecant. Two pi equals eight pi over four. So this 13 pi over four is more than one whole rotation around the circle. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this 13 pi over four minus eight pi over four, and that equals five pi over four. So five pi over four is coterminal with a 13 pi over four. And that equals pi plus pi over 4. And the reason why I wrote it like this is because pi is a half rotation, and then pi over 4 beyond that is right here. So this is 5 pi over 4 total, but this reference angle here is simply pi over 4. Okay, so based on that reference angle and the fact that it's located in the third quadrant, the sine of 13 pi over 4 is going to be the negative sine of pi over 4. And the sine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2. So that means we're going to be negative square root of 2 over 2. Okay, so that's the sine of 13 pi over 4. Now what about the cosecant? The cosecant, the cosecant of 13 pi over 4 equals 1 over the sine of 13 pi over 4, and that equals 1 over negative square root of 2 over 2. And so basically we're just going to do the reciprocal of this sine value. And that's going to be equal to negative of 2 divided by the square root of 2. And that's not rationalized, so multiply by square root of 2 over square root of 2. And we're going to get negative 2 square root of 2 divided by, and square root of 2 times square root of 2 is 2. So these two simplify out, and we get negative square root of 2. OK. So our cosecant of 13 pi over 4 is negative of square root of 2. Let's review the process. First of all, I have my unit circle, and then I had to remind myself that the cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine. And then I found the coterminal angle with 13 pi over 4, which turned out to be 5 pi over 4. And then we found the reference angle for 5 pi over 4, which is simply pi over 4. Then since 5 pi over 4 is in the third quadrant, we had to do the sine of 13 pi over 4, which is also the sine of 5 pi over 4, because they're coterminal, is the negative of sine pi over 4. And the sine of pi over 4 is square root of 2 over 2, or 1 over the square root of 2 if you prefer to write it that way. And then from there, we applied the reciprocal to get the cosecant. So this question combines all kinds of trigonometric knowledge. You're using coterminal angles. You're using a reference angle. You're using a unit circle. You're using a reciprocal of a trig ratio. You're using radians. And you're rationalizing denominators. There's a lot going on here. But it's a lot of steps, but it's really not that complicated. You just have to take it one little step at a time. Okay, follow through on the process, and you should have good success.